Welcome back to Breaking Skyrim. On this episode, we're going to take a little uh, dungeon dive before our uh, current quest, Glory of the Dead, Yeastmore's Tomb. We fast traveled here to Dawnstar. I'm on the northern shore. And we're just going to follow this northern shoreline towards Winterhold. There's a few landmarks along the way you can go ahead and find. This is, uh, the Sanctuary for the Dark Brotherhood. You know, personally, with my roleplay of the character, the Dark Brotherhood's haunting him, trying to get him, so him recognizing the, uh, the symbol, he stays far clear of it. There's a few Horker if you feel like getting into a fight. They're pretty easy. They, I mean, they hit hard-ish, but they're not hostile unless you come close. One of the first things I like to pick up on this little path I'm taking is there's an amulet of Mara, if you haven't already collected one. So you can use that to get married, you can use that to uh, make a shrine in your personal house when you start building a manor. And then the next little unmarked landmark we're gonna run across because I've always found a few people all around uh, uh, Winterhold and they have unique items like it has their name attached to it but they're not part of any mission or whatnot I just think it was a uh, you know incomplete but it kind of fits in with the lore uh, the College of Winterhold is talking constantly about how new applicants are disappearing or getting into some experiments that are uh, quite harmful so apparently this was one of those situations you can see these flames off in the distance what it uh, appears somebody tried an advanced spell and wasn't ready for the uh, the power she seemed to fry herself to a crisp too but for us it's a free flame cloak spell. See, Yisra here, she has her necklace, but it's not attached to any quest. You can get rid of it from your inventory. I just like having a free flame cloak. And right now, it's a little too much for us to try and use, but once we're broken, we can do it all day. So, continuing on here. The north sign, northern shores. I'm trying to get to this cave. There should be a couple of wolves around here. some iron ore. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go down to this little cavern. Just follow the blood trails, because, you know, that's not a bad sign at all. And we're already set up because uh, us having our Atronach stone blessing and us being a Breton, this place is filled with necromancers, so any spell they throw at you is gonna do minute damage. Also see how my magic's being recharged by her spell instead of it hurting me. 
totally broken. But of course, that's not a complaint. It's a feature! Tried to bring his friend back. Must have missed him. Up, oh, up. Oh, now he's Ash. Free spell is always nice. I'm not a fan of the uh, raising zombies part of it all. I prefer the skeletons that they've added in. But, you know, feel free to use it. Resurrect a goat. I'm like, what did you think that was gonna do? It was a goat. You think you stand like, if you resurrected a wolf, I might have been a little worried, but it was a goat. Wolves of destruction. Do I already have that? Well, if not, we can ditch it. All right, now we're gonna backtrack just a bit. If you want to go ahead and collect uh, recipes that you find, help you out with alchemy later. It's always suggested. Just okay. So you have this regular old treasure chest, which I'm not going to bother with, but this is what we're here for. Filled with a bunch of spells, just go ahead and learn them all. They will help us out in the end. The one that I personally like the most right here is Fenric's welcome so apprentice chest hit the welcome and use it to unlock now you can do that for expert and anything below so the only thing you have to actually pick yourself as a master it's kind of broken and I love it I'm here Holding on to some more power for no reason. Now, if you want to mess around with some of the spells you just got, you'll be my guest. No reason not to. But we're going to put them all to work here eventually. So. You can see how unworried I am by mages now. There it is, yep. I knew one of them was a skill book. So remember, nothing into Magicka. Just enchantments for that. I already went ahead and put a perk into this don't bother going down to matching set just yet that's more of a end of the line smithing thing if you're gonna have you know matching sets of stuff you've smithed yourself with your own personal enchantments but for right now you know it's more important we go down this side I just took well fitted because even if I find a nice enchanted piece of Daedric armor or something I can still have a benefit from wearing all heavy armor pieces. Got ourselves our first uh, unusual gem. I think that was everything except... There's a chest over here. Jump. And again. Now, Fenrix Welcome also makes you invisible, but it's very, very short-lived. 
it's uh it's good that if you were trying to you know disappear for a second but it's not the best when it comes to invisibility eventually we will have that broken too so now that we've gone on that little side quest all you gotta do is continue on the northern coastline until you get to Yiger Skullmore's tomb it was this way now to demonstrate what we're gonna be doing for the mage break uh, like you see here my bound axe takes almost all my magicka if I stand in the trap it gives me back my magicka so I can do it again but the problem here is this trap also hurts me a bit so if you wanted to this is a great way to AFK your restoration just have healing going stand in one of these traps but personally me I found other ways to do it but this is what originally turned me on to mage breaking a character it just the traps aren't the most efficient version but if you really wanted to you could mage break here and now uh, I just prefer to do it in another spot and on the way to the spot we get more spells to work with so not to mention if we continue on this path we can warrior break as well and continue our two-handed and heavy armor of trees so I wait until the perfect time to actually break stuff pretty sure there's an enchanting table somewhere in this game Or no. So we've reached the end. Mercy. Oh, they keep eating up my stamina though. Soul gem. Well, we know what they were trying to do. Like the style. There we go. And all right, that's useful. Now this is going to be loud, so fair warning. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen. Hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. So. Around this time our hero thought he was going crazy, but he could feel a strange emanating power from the beacon that he now possessed. So he chalked it up to... Uh, maybe he was crazy. Still, we're gonna follow the call of a Daedric... I can't remember if she was a prince? or Because there was... yeah. We'll just say a Daedric. So we're gonna continue along this northern shoreline I hear a bear there it is Personally, to me, I think the bound weapons look really cool. I mean, you have ethereal, daedric weapons. That's just... That's its own level of badass. But... 
Go for a small swim. Another small swim. Oh, hey, dear, look, dear, another bear, dear. I'm going to come up this way. that just in case you hadn't gotten it before <laughs> grab a few items if you needed them some more ore. Seems the bear gave himself a kill here. Yep. Or leather's always nice. And finally, we have arrived at the tomb of Yskrimor. By this time, the circle should already be inside. You know, just go ahead and scavenge a couple of things. Now, I'll cut it off here and catch up in the next one.